Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat some slightly out of date raspberry cheesecake from Tesco, okay? On the back it says, baked vanilla cheesecake on a digestive biscuit base topped with raspberry sauce. Now this is dated the 22nd of April. And that's the use by date, okay? And it says use by, which means if you eat it after that date, you could theoretically die. Okay, now it's currently the 25th of April. Um, to prove it, um, the Twitter board have um, agreed to Elon Musk taking over Twitter. There's been a news story recently um, on um, yesterday, I believe, about... Um, the deputy leader of the opposition crossing her legs to distract the prime minister. Um, all politicians of all parties have condemned the article, saying it's sexist. Um, and apparently, um, they've reported that Johnny Depp, um, apparently in the past, made some sort of comment about um, his ex-wife Amber Heard based on a Monty Python sketch. Something about burning witches or something. Anyway, so that proves that it really is out of date, okay? Now, I'm going to open it. Before I do, it says it's got cheese... Sorry. Yep. Raspberry cheesecake. Great for creaminess. Um, it also has a price on it. This cost 81 pence. It would normally cost £3.25. Um, it also shows you the traffic light system. Which tells you that um, it's not very good for fat, it's not very good for saturates, but it is good for salt, okay? So red means um, how bad it is for you. I mean, I'm not saying they've like, it's, you know, going to kill you or anything, but you know, it's like, those people want to eat healthily, they're warning that um, it's rather dangerous on the fats and the saturates, but it's very good regarding salt and reasonable regarding sugar, okay? And so obviously I obtain this so that people know how much to eat, um, of each item. Personally, I don't take any notice of it, and I doubt most normal people do either, unless they're on a diet. But there you go. So I'm now going to open it up. And I've also got a plate here, and I've got a knife. And this is the cheesecake. So... I'm now going to cut the cheesecake. I'm going to have roughly a quarter, it's slightly less than a quarter, but roughly a quarter of it. And now I'm going to try and put that onto the plate. So there you go. And I'm going to put the rest of it back in the box and that will go back in the fridge because this needs to be kept in the fridge. Here you'll look, notice what looks like um, sort of strawberry jam, sorry, not strawberry, I mean raspberry jam on top of the cheesecake. Looks like there's a bit that could have would have been better off coming out of here. So, yes, there's a bit in here that I didn't realize when I was cutting it out, so I'll put some of that here. I'm doing this off camera because it's difficult to do on camera. So, and it's when I was cutting it, it perhaps normally you would take it out and then cut it, but um, like this, actually, I didn't realize I didn't realize it had um, a cardboard bottom, so you could actually push it up from below. I didn't realise, that's actually very clever, I didn't notice I'd done that, I didn't realise I'd done that, that's what I should have done, I should have taken it out, then cut it and put it back, but never mind, it'll do, rather than trying to cut it within the contain the plastic container, never mind, okay, quite interesting, so, now, I'm going to eat the biscuit parts of it, I'm going to put this, in a minute, And usually, I call it biscuit, but 
but it's very sort of soft and smooth so it's not very stiff like a lot of biscuits okay um It says on a digestive biscuit base. It doesn't seem like a digestive biscuit to me. It seems very soft for a digestive biscuit. But maybe it is. I don't know. Nothing now. Drink the cheesecake part. Yes, it's very much like you would expect from a cheesecake. Um, It's moist and sour at the same time. So, Yeah, I mean, just to say, you know what to say, I mean, as you can see, they don't cover up the raspberry totally. They're putting some sort of pattern, so. That the raspberry jam can refer to it, but not all of it, okay? So it's like in patches, almost like some sort of art, strange, modern artwork, okay? As I said, I raised a... Do not think the digestive biscuit base is like exactly like a digestive biscuit. It tastes very wet. Even if it, you know, it, it tastes very wet for a digestive biscuit, but to be fair, to be absolutely fair though, I've never put digestive biscuits in the fridge, ever. So maybe if I put digestive biscuits in the fridge, maybe. And they too um, would um, be very wet. I don't know. Often this is the sort of cheesecake you might have over here. I don't think I've ever personally made a cheesecake for myself. I don't think I have. Um, so. I could be wrong, it might be something I might try sometime, okay? Look, the trouble you have, you see, is usually over here, it's actually cheaper to buy things professionally made, usually, and to buy all the ingredients and make it yourself, um, just because of the economies of scale and things like that, you know. There you go. Um, what else did I say? Um, right, so I'm finishing it off. They say rich cream cheese blended with single cream on a crunchy base. I'll read that again for those learning English. Rich cream cheese blended with single cream on a crunchy base. Bake for creaminess. Okay. And on the back it says it consists of full 
fat soft cheese, wheat flour, calcium carbonate, iron, niacin, I'm not sure if that's the right way of saying it, thiamine, I know all that's for, no, no the ingredients for the wheat flour. So, okay, to start again, I'm just not going to explain what wheat flour is. I'm going to say four flat soft cheese, wheat flour, sugar, palm oil, pasteurized egg, whipping cream, soured cream, raspberry puree, single cream, rapeseed oil, demerara sugar. I knew there was something at the bottom. I thought it looked like that. Um, and in one of my recent recipes, I used demerara sugar. Um, water, corn flour, invert sugar syrup, whatever that is. Flavouring, lemon juice, salt, raising agent, sodium carbonate, gelling agent and colour. So, there you go guys. Tesco Raspberry Cheesecake. I'm just going to finish off the last piece now. And as I said, despite being out of date, it tastes perfectly fine. But it's only three days out of date. Okay? Thank you for watching, guys. Bye!